We're heading south toward the Syrian border. Ethnic struggles and refugees are nothing new to this land. In fact, 4,000 years ago, Abraham and his followers walked these plains searching for a homeland. According to the Bible, Abraham settled here in Haran on his way to the promised land in Canaan, that's Israel, about 300 miles to the south. That was about 1900 BC. Haran is one of the oldest continuously inhabited places on earth. These conical houses worked well in Abraham's day, and they still do. The conical shape keeps the inside cool and the baby happy, even though it's well over 100 degrees outside. Centuries of wind and warriors have rounded the corners of Haran's fortress. But it seems the people and their ways of life have changed little. Turkey's cultural diversity shows itself in subtle ways. For instance, ethnic groups tie their headscarves differently. The women of the Black Sea cover their head this way. In central Anatolia, the women choose another style. And my friend Naile, an Arab Turk, covers her hair this way. Haran's women wear scarves both for modesty and for protection from the dry heat and blowing sand. This arid region has been short of water since Abraham's time. Today, irrigation canals are bringing smiles and new life to the area. <laughs> 